be making basics. What's going on YouTube, Be Making Basics, back again with another dope video. If you're new to the channel, go ahead and subscribe because we're coming back to back with bangers. Today's video, I'm going to be going over some leveling techniques when it comes to mixing your beats in Logic Pro 10. So let's go ahead and jump in. Now, first thing I'm going to do is actually let you hear a little bit of this beat and just so you get a feel of for it. And then I'm going to jump straight in to my leveling techniques AKA secrets, okay? So it's gonna be a super simple video, but let's go ahead and jump in. So that's gonna sound pretty hard once we finish mixing it. Um, but since this video is about leveling, let's just go ahead and jump into that part of it. So first thing I wanna do actually is um, go ahead and export this as audio. We're gonna export this audio, put it into a new session, and then get the levels, okay? The reason why we wanna turn it to audio because you know most of the time your computer is gonna be able to process audio a whole lot better um you know what i'm saying so you know think about it like this say if i have some certain plugins and stuff like that on here if i have it like printed to the audio then it can you know be easy on the cpu power so or the computer power anyway uh before i actually do that though what i'm gonna do is do a command shift s do a save as and then just say two and then i'm gonna come over here and literally just highlight all the tracks and then scroll down to utility and push gain put the gain plugin on there now what the gain plugin is going to do is basically basically help us to um get the levels pre-fader meaning that say if something's coming in a little hot this could take the the, the sound down pre-fader without you know messing it up destroying it or basically um you know manipulating the sounds or something like that messing it up so i'm just going to go ahead and hold down option and click on the faders it's going to take everything to nominal gain i'm also going to do the same thing on the pan and then we could decide if we want to turn off some of these effects i'm just going to leave all of them on except for this um and then from here i'm actually going to take everything out of the uh out of the buses and then put them all into the output so I have set things grouped and bust out. We're gonna take that off. And um, basically from here, I wanna um, take the time to make sure that nothing is peaking super high in the mix. So that's what I'm gonna do. You'll see what I'm doing. That's kind of loud. So I'm gonna turn this down some. And I can still see what's going on here. So like that kick, see how it has that little distortion. So we'll go ahead and come to some other parts of the beat just to make sure we get everything.
my UNAV to reformat to be a little bit. Honestly, I kind of like how that starts as an intro, but we're going to leave everything alone. Uh, anyway, let's keep on going here. All right, man. So we got pretty much have everything set up. It's making everything um, sound right here. So I'm going to save this again. And then now what I'm going to do, take this loop off right here. I'm going to make sure that your, your uh, end marker is at the end of your beat. And then we're going to do Command Shift E. And that's going to pretty much export the file. So I'm going to turn off the normalizer. We're going to, you know, include the audio tail, include volume and pan automation. That's not necessary. Include the tempo. I always go ahead and do the wave 24 bit. And then we'll just go ahead and put this in a folder somewhere. So uh, I don't know why this is kind of looking like this here. There we go. So we're going to put this on the desktop. And then we'll just go ahead and, you know, export these files as audio. So now that we have that going, um, pretty much the next step is going to be to open up a brand new session, rename it and import the, the files again. And then we're going to go ahead and jump into the actual leveling tips. While we're waiting for this to bounce down, make sure you go ahead and head over to my website, bemakingbasics.com. Right now, we're running a, a huge sale on all the courses, kits, um, sound kits, drum kits, melody kits, and templates. So check that out. We got everything almost like half off. So there's no reason for you not to go, you know, grab yourself a new drum kit, and level up your sounds, or to get yourself a course to help you learn a certain task or certain tip or certain thing, you know. So go check it out. You know what I'm saying? Um, also, we got something called uh, our channel perks. So you can join on the channel as well. It's a like a real cheaper option, but I throw some videos on there that are exclusive or whatever that you're not going to see on YouTube if you're just a normal subscriber. Anyway, let's go ahead and now uh, save this one more time. We're going to go ahead and create a brand new um, session. Take this like that. Now, I usually just go ahead and go with an audio track. We're going to go ahead and push the BPM up first. And then from here, I go to my finder. And I can just throw these, these stems in here. Or, you know. cool so the main thing here is just to come to like a part that has the, like most of the drums and everything and I can see visually based on the wave files that this is the place um, obviously I'm gonna go ahead and just kind of throw everything right there so like I got my 808 kick clap you know what I'm saying you want to put all your drums and stuff maybe at the top just to make it easier Get stuff going. So we do that. And then the trick with this, uh, or the tip that I really want to focus in on here when it comes to leveling, is literally just mixing everything off of the kick. All right. Like the kick is really just the main thing. You know what I'm saying? When it comes to like hip hop beats, rap beats, etc. Like if that's not thumping, it's gonna pretty much mess your beat up some. So we'll just go ahead and come over here to kick and bring that up. That's gonna go start off at nominal gain. So basically we want that kick that at all times to be kind of punching through the mix and shining through. So if we just take the kick up first, first and then we can come over here to the some of the melody parts and like bring them in and bring in some of the other drums and stuff like that so i'll just go through that process right now you can see how you can still hear that kick punching super hard
so you can kind of hear that the kick is still punching super hard um so now we can start bringing in some of the other um elements i'm gonna next bring in the 808 so the kick and the 808 are the most important parts Basically, you can hear by using this technique um, when it comes to leveling, you're able to, you know what I'm saying, get punchier drums and a whole lot of other stuff here. So to compensate this, like, again, first of all, what we want to do is just go to, like, all the different sections and make sure that, like, all the melody parts are up, et cetera, et cetera. So, like, I'll come over here and make sure this sounds right. Alright y'all, so that's going to be pretty much the video. As you can see here, it did peak some on the stereo out to get rid of that. Um, after you after you get rid of get your all your levels, just go to the drums and highlight them. Go to stereo out. Go to available bus. Do the same thing with the melody. And now I can come to these aux tracks and turn it down some. Um, to ensure that it's not going to peak, but you still have the, all the levels right. So anyway, y'all, that's going to be today's video. Thanks for watching. I'll be giving more tips on mixing and everything with this beat. This, uh, in, in the videos to come, make sure again that you go to my site, bemakingbasses.com, cop yourself a sound kit, 
drum kit, you know what I'm saying, um, chorus or whatever, all designed to take you to the next level, help you with your, uh, your sound, especially if you're a beginner. And if you don't do anything else, make sure you get subscribed to the channel. Without further ado, we're out.